Hey, this is a quick tutorial to tell you how you can use DXF files exported from Fusion 360 in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I've got a simple design here for a tray. It's two laser cut pieces. Uh, there's a bottom part, which is just a rounded rectangle. And then there's this top part, which has some cutouts in it. Now, this in this example, it's very weird the way this is set up, but I just pulled this project out from a long time ago. Uh, if you look, though, this sketch kind of gives all the information that's needed for this whole design. So you would think what I could do is just right click on this sketch and hit export uh, or save as DXF. The problem is if you have any information in there that's uh, in the form of like construction lines like this one, it will get saved in that DXF file and it looks just like any other line in Illustrator. So you'll have some weird cleanup to do, and depending on how much you use construction lines, it can be really annoying. So what I always recommend is I'll turn that sketch off and just turn on this body that I'm interested in exporting as a DXF. And here's the process. The first thing I'll do is just click Create Sketch, and then I'll uh, click on the face that I'm interested in laser cutting, and I'll hit Finish Sketch. And that's it. So now if I turn off that body, I can see that there's a sketch here that just contains the information I want. The construction line isn't in there. And typically what I'll do is right here, I'll just um, rename this so that I know when I come back to this design that this is specifically for exporting. Now, another important thing is you have to look at the document settings and see what the units are. And that's because when you save it as a DXF, it will save those units with it. And that becomes really important in the next step. So what I'll do is right click on that sketch, hit save as DXF, and I'll just put it here. And that's it. So here I am in Illustrator, and if I go to File Open, I should be able to choose that file that I exported and hit Open. This is the really important part. This scaling needs to say scale one unit equals one, and then whatever units you used in Fusion 360. So if I actually modeled in millimeters, I could choose millimeters here and I might think that I could hit okay, but that will not do it. You need to, it needs to say one unit equals one millimeter. So anytime you make a change here to this drop down, you'll see that the units here adjusts. And so you have to make sure that it says one equals one and choose the units that used in Fusion 360. And if you do that, everything will come up at the right scale. Hopefully that helps. I know it took me a while to figure that out, <laughs> uh, but this is uh, the process that I use every time I export and then when I open it in Illustrator. 